Nano Banana Draw to Edit is here. You can annotate to make edits, add reference images, and even brush away to mask specific areas of yourself. You can do this entirely on web. You can find this feature inside Enhancer AI, and today I'll show you how it works and how to exactly build it for yourself for your SaaS. So by the end of this video, you will also have an open source code that I have used inside Enhancer. So let's get into it. So you're going to head over to Enhancer AI, click Tools, and Draw to Edit. Here you'll see a very simple canvas. On the left-hand corner, you have have your toolbox in the center is your canvas where you upload your image and on the bottom is your generation button so let's drop in an image I want to edit this red ring over here uh, and with prompting that would be quite hard to locate and describe so instead of writing prompts like make the second ring from the left green not the red one like this would be your prompt uh, in this case with draw to edit you can just point label and let the system do the rest so in here i'm going to select the arrow tool i'm going to drag uh, to point it to the object that i want to edit and also if i want i can change the thickness of the arrow as well then going back to the toolbox i'm going to add text i'm going to click over to the text tool which in this case will be adding the direction a small text interface will pop up uh, and in here we'll write change this ring to green and click add now that the text is added i can drag the text to go to the beginning of the arrow you can click outside of it and boom we we now are ready to to generate our edit so simply we're going to click edit over here in the bottom and let nano banana do its magic Boom, there you go. Now you have two screens. On the left, you'll always have your original image for reference, the very first image that you uploaded. And on the right, Nano Banana will generate your new edit based on the annotations you just made. And uh, as we can see now, the ring that we pointed to has turned to green. This dual view makes it very easy to compare before and afters. Uh, so if you're happy with the edit, you can just go ahead and download it. If not, you can still add more annotations or even go back to your previous or original generation because the canvas is still active for you to edit. So this is the very first use case, okay? Annotation. You can add arrows, you can add text, you can draw. Now let's jump to the second one, image to edit. This is still under the annotation use case. So let's say that I want to replace a particular ring with a different one. Here's the ring that I want to place in the model. I really like how it looks. It's simple gold. It's very different from what the model currently has. So I'm going to head over to the image tool. I'm going to upload the ring that I want to add, which is this one over here. And as you can see, I'm going to select it from my computer. So now this is going to show up in the canvas. I'm going to click on it, drag it, and overlay it on top of the ring that I want to replace it with. Here we go. I'm going to add in some text. Again, go into the toolbox, click the text feature. I'm going to say, add this ring to the finger. I'm going to place the text correctly, and then I'm going to hit edit give it a second boom like magic as you can see the ring does look very similar to our source image here's a source image and you can do the exact same thing with replacing clothing or swapping products like this one for example as you can see i'm placing an image of the product that i want to replace which is this blue prime bottle over here added in an arrow added in some text hit edit and boom it's pretty sweet great brush to edit now this is probably one of my favorite use cases because brush to edit allows you to mask a segment or a part of your your image by brushing it and with a prompt you can change only that particular area that you have selected i'm going to pick the brush tool in the toolbox it's the middle one over here and i'll brush over the right hand like this and say remove all rings in the prompt hit edit boom done great traditionally if you said to nano banana remove all the rings it would remove all the rings from both hands and in this case as we mask the area that we want to change the edit becomes local it only applies to that particular section that that we have masked. Take a look at this other example when I simply brush over the text and I tell it to change that text to, hey, Serio. It knows exactly what to do. Like there's no limits to this. You can try this inside Enhancer AI. And the difference between Enhancer and all available Nano Banana wrappers is that we have almost no restrictions to what you can do. You can use our enhanced processing models, our foundation models, such as the Pro and the Ultra, which will give you Nano Banana Generations photorealistic, billboard ready image resolution, extremely sharp. Check out these examples over here. Here's an image that was traditionally generated with Nano Banana inside Enhancer. And here's the same one that we generated with Nano Banana Pro. Look at the details. And another one with Nano Banana Ultra. It's pretty cool. 
Nano banana quality enhanced. Only available inside Enhancer. Now the fun part is how to build something similar for your SaaS. As I promised, I will release a code of this entire thing that you saw so you can productize it for your own tool, your use case. But first, let's go over how these things work. There are two parts of the puzzle. Number one is the annotation. Number two is a brush masking. So let's first talk about the annotation. How the annotation feature works is very simple. I'll tell you about the backend in a second, but first we have to understand it in practice. So I'll give you a very easy example to demonstrate. Let's go over to Canva. You, you'll understand why I'm doing this very shortly. And let's bring the same image that we used before. So let's add a little arrow over here pointing to the ring and let's add some text saying, change this ring to green. Cool, this is good. We annotated the image. Now let's download it and we're gonna pass this through Nano Banana. We're gonna go to tools image editing, we're inside Enhancer AI, and here we have Nano Banana. We will remove the default examples that we have over here, and we're just gonna upload the image we downloaded from Canva. This is what the image looks like. It does have the text and arrow blended in or burned in. So what I will do right now is that I'll add this prompt with Nano Banana. I'm gonna say, apply the changes indicated by the annotations, then remove all the annotations, the text and the overlaid elements from the image so that the final result is clean and seamless. I'm gonna hit generate and boom there you go the image is completely edited and is following our annotations so if you didn't get it this is exactly how draw to edit feature works instead of having you go over to a third party to annotate and draw like in canva or photoshop you just do it inside enhancer then once you draw and click edit enhancer saves the image with your annotation and it passes it through nano banana with a prompt saying apply this changes indicated by the annotations then remove all the annotations and the text uh, and all the overlaid elements from the image so that the final result is clean and seamless this is called a workflow, my friend. The technical complexity that, that, that is hidden behind this entire process is very simple. It's just an intuitive interface. You're just building a Photoshop wrapper and you're just sending everything to Nano Banana. So Enhancer allows you to, to do all of this without having to go um, back and forth uh, with different tools. So how does the annotation feature really work in the back end now that we understand the logic behind it? First, we are creating a canvas that you can draw on. So you can upload an image and then you can draw on top of it. And we're using Canvas API. Essentially what Canvas API is that it allows the JavaScript to draw graphics on the canvas um, and you can draw shapes you can draw lines boxes text and images this is completely free uh, you can find the link in the description but this is what the site looks like API is completely free you just have to implement it in the back end there are multiple annotation types that we have implemented here we have the, the the draw strokes which is essentially freehand drawing we have text annotation which is customizable font and color we have arrow annotations which again is customizable thickness and color of the um, arrows and then we have image overlays which helps for reference images where users can overlay and upload um, an image inside the canvas and there's also a feature like undo and redo which is a system with history tracking for all the brush uh, annotations or text annotations or drawing annotations that you can go back and forth let's say you did something by mistake you draw something by mistake or you added a text by mistake you just can go back and forth with it but also we have redo and undo for image generation so you can go back and forth on your different edits so these are the features in the back end. And an important detail here is that the canvas adapts automatically to the resolution of the image. So in the code, we have made sure to, to have that implemented. So when a user uploads an image, it doesn't just constrain to whatever resolution we set the canvas to be because the final image that is sent or passed through Nano Banana, it comes from the actual canvas. So whatever size the canvas is, the final image will be. When we tested this thing in the beginning, we had this issue where the canvas was too small and it was sending very small images, even though the aspect ratio was exactly the same. So be careful with that. So after this happens, uh, after you draw and after you upload your image and all of that, we burn in all the changes into the image the second that you hit edit so that your annotations are saved in the image and at the same time we send your newly annotated image through nano banana api and we give you back the results and all these things go through the prompt that i mentioned before so it's extremely easy in theory and practice this is how draw to edit with annotations work
Now let's talk about brush masking, which is one of the most clever optimizations in the system by far. When you want to edit a specific area, you simply brush around the edges of what you want to change, right? You enter your own prompt, you hit generate, and boom, the particular section that you brushed gets edited perfectly. But here's where it gets interesting. You might think that the system is only editing the exact area that you brushed, but this is not how it actually works. Yes, the system does track your brush strokes as individual coordinates um, with, with points and, and size information. But here's the clever part, because the system doesn't send your irregular brush shapes to the AI model, in this case, down a banana. Instead, it's performing a smart optimization. At least this is how we are doing this. So it's calculating a bounding box. So it finds the smallest rectangle that contains all your brush strokes. So with some padding for context, then it crops the image. So it extracts just that rectangular region from the full image. Um, it adjusts the coordinates by converting your brush stroke coordinates to match the cropped image. So now it sends this rectangle that it extracted to Nano Banana, right? It has Nano Banana edited that particular section of that rectangle, and now it sends back the edit and adds it or stitches it back to the original image with a Python script. This approach matters because, first of all, it allows for faster processing, if there's less data, uh, fewer costs. It's better results because now you're working off a rectangle. It's not just like freehand drawing. So pixels are way more accurate. So again, when you're brushing around in your regular shape, you're not sending that complex shape to Nano Banana. You're just sending the coordinates that map to the closest rectangular bounding box. Again, more efficient approach that delivers great results. I mean, well, until Nano Banana releases its in-painting version or until we have a Conf UI uh, template for that. So my friend, this is how you can use and build Nano Banana Draw to Edit feature. You can find the entire open source code on my GitHub, link in the description. Also, if you want one-to-one -one support on implementing or building AI power powered SaaS, comfy workflows, and more, I have an online community called AI for Pros, where I teach you how to get started with AI content creation, AI SaaS, comfy setups, and weekly calls. Check it out. I'd love to have you be part of it. Until then, create without limits. This is Serial.